Hi everyone, in this video we will discuss about Redix sort. So Redix sort is a sorting algorithm in which we perform digit by digit sorting starting from the least significant digit to the most significant digit. So it is also a non-comparison based sorting algorithm just like counting sort. So we perform counting sort when the range of the elements is very small. But if the range of the elements is comparatively bigger, then the counting sort does not perform better than the comparison sorting algorithms. So for those scenarios, we have this Redix sort. So Redix sort uses counting sort as a subroutine. So here we perform digit by digit sorting starting from the least significant digit to the most significant digit. Let's take an example. So if we see here, we have these numbers starting with the smallest value of 1 and the largest value of 504. So if we take any number, let's say we take 504, when we talk about LSD, so 4 is the LSD and 5, this is the most significant digit. So we start sorting of the digits starting from the right. So we sort the digits right from left. So this radix sort will be performed in iterations. And in each iteration, we'll call the counting sort to sort the digits in that position. So let's try to understand the algorithm. The first step of the algorithm is we need to find the maximum element of the input array. So in this example, the maximum element is 504. So this max e variable has the value 504. And in the second step, we'll perform an iteration starting from 1 till max e by i is greater than 0. So what we're doing here is we are running a loop starting from the least significant digit to the most significant digit. So if we write this 504, so this we can say this is the 1th place, this is the 10th place, and this is the 100th place. So in each iteration of this for loop, we are calling the counting sort and sorting the digits at the ith place. So first we'll sort the digits at the 1th place, then we'll sort the digits at the 10th place, and then we'll sort the digits at the 100th place. So let's see how this works. So for all the elements of the array, we'll add a prefix of 0 to make them of length 3, which is the length of the largest element of the array. So 1 can be written as 001, and 65 can be written as 065. So we'll make all the elements in the array of length 3. So if you write it down here, it will be 150, then 0, 010. Then we need to perform sorting based on the ith digit. So the ith digit is the least significant digit, which is the 1th digit. So we'll perform sorting based on this digit, which I've underlined in green. So first we'll have 150. Because we are using the counting sort, to sort these digits so counting sort is a stable sort so the order will be maintained so 150 will still occur before 010 so counting sort i have discussed in my previous videos if you have any doubts on how the counting sort works i will link a video in the description and in the top right corner you can have a look on how the counting sort works because the radix sort uses the counting sort as a subroutine so in this step we are sorting the digits based on the 1th place. Then we have 090, then we have 001, then we have 504, 004, 045, 065, and 035. So first we can see we have all the zeros, then we have 1, then we have 4, and then we have 5 at the 1th place. Because counting sort is a stable sort, so the digits which are same for them, the order remains the same. Then the second iteration of this for loop will sort using the digits at the 10th place. So now we'll sort the digits at this 
highlighted position in red. So first we'll have zero. So zero is zero zero one. Then we'll have five zero four. Then zero zero four. Then we'll have zero one zero. Then we'll have zero three five. Then zero four five. Then one fifty. Then zero six five. And last is zero ninety. And in the next iteration, we'll sort the digits using the hundredth place. So the digits which are highlighted in green, we'll sort using them. So when we sort the digits at the hundredth place, so first we'll have zero zero one, then we'll have zero zero four, then zero one zero, then zero thirty five, zero forty five, zero sixty five. 090 then 150 and then 5504 so now we have individually sorted at all the places so 1th place 10th place and 100th place so then the for loop ends and this is our output array which you can see is sorted because this is 1 this is 4 this is 10 this is 35 45 65 90 150 and Five zero four. So in each iteration, we'll sort the digits at a particular position, and once we have sorted the digits at all the position, the whole array will be sorted. So this is the concept of the Reddick sort. So once we have understood the algorithm, let's look at the few important properties of this algorithm. So the time complexity in the best case is order of n plus k, and in the average and the worst case is order of n k where k is the number of digits in the largest element. So because it uses the counting sort as a subroutine, so counting sort has a linear complexity. So in the best case, radix sort also has a linear complexity. And if the number of digits in the largest element is small, then the radix sort performs very well. So you can see that the average and the worst case will almost be linear if the number of digits is small. So this is not an in-place algorithm, it requires order of n of additional memory space because it uses counting sort. So counting sort itself requires additional memory space. So this makes Reddick sort not in-place algorithm. So it is a stable algorithm, that is it doesn't change the relative order of elements with equal keys. So as it uses counting sort and counting sort is also stable, so this makes the Reddick sort a stable algorithm. And this is not an online algorithm. That means we cannot sort a list as it receives it because before starting of the algorithm, Radix sort needs to know what is the maximum element and the number of digits in it. So it needs to pre-process the array beforehand. So it cannot sort a list as it receives it. So this makes Radix sort a not an online algorithm. So once you've understood the algorithm and the important properties associated with it, let's have a look at the implementation. All the source code that I'll be showing is available in my GitHub repository, link of which is present here and as well as in the description. Now let's have a look at the code. So in the main function, I have this input array and I pass this input array to the radix sort function. In this radix sort function, I first find what is the maximum element in this array. Then I run a for loop in which I call the counting sort subroutine to sort the digits at the ith place. In this counting sort function, so this function I've already explained in my previous video. So this is basically a counting sort function. The, so the only change here is that we are passing the variable position. So we are sorting the digit only at this position. So wherever I was referring the original array, so here I've done vector i by position modulo 10. So I'm just taking the element at that particular position and then performing the counting sort. So once you perform the counting sort on each of the positions, the whole array will be sorted. And in the main function, I print the contents of the array in this print function. Let's see the output of this program. So the input array was given and the output is sorted using the radix sort. So that was all for this video. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please leave in the comment section below. If you like my content, please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel it really motivates me to make more such content and until next time this is sandeep thapar signing off